it's Tuesday, and it's my second Inktober drawing. I gotta be honest, didn't think I'd make it this far, but now that we have, let's keep going, shall we? Um, so this time, I'm doing another Stranger Things drawing, and it's Mike from Stranger Things. So, yeah. Um, I am... I gotta put this out there. I am not 100% happy with the likeness of Mike in this picture. It did not turn out, but whenever you do challenges that are sort of daily or every once in a while like this one, it's not going to, not every day is going to turn out, and that doesn't make you a terrible artist. It just means you failed once. Doesn't mean you'll fail tomorrow, but we'll see. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I tried really, really hard. I had a reference. I was trying to get his hair right. It kept looking very, very feminine, and you'll see in this sketch here. Like, I'm trying to get his cheekbones right, and I think the difference between trying to draw Dustin and now drawing Mike, um, like, Dustin had a very unique face, you know, and then Mike's face, he looks really normal to me, except for he's got, like, a couple strong features, but the features that he has that are strong are not something that I'm good at drawing. <laughs> I think maybe that's what's going on here. So it's like, his face and my drawing abilities just didn't match up here. I think that's what's going on. See, he just looks like a girl. I don't know. Well, I'm. a lot of the guys I draw tend to look like girls just because that's just a fault on my own part. <laughs> because I just draw a lot more girls, so I'm better at it. So sometimes when a guy's not turning out right, I start doing things that I would do when I'm drawing like a more feminine character. So it just makes the dude look very, very feminine. Um, right now, it doesn't look that bad now that I'm looking at the sketch but I know once I start thinking oh boy you should watch and find out <laughs> so I decided to use this um Sakura brush pen to do his hair because his hair's black and I thought if I use the brush pen then I won't have to like color it in later it's just ink it right now I don't I and I really like the way that brush pen you can like control the width of each stroke so you could start really thick and then thin it out near the end of the hair um, and I also used it to uh, color his collar and his eyebrows and in the reference I had he had this piece of hair that just stuck off to the left and I decided to incorporate it but I'm not sure I'm glad I did but yeah see whenever it's a drawing I'm not 100% proud of I feel like I just dig into it maybe I don't give it myself enough credit but you know that's just what an artist does, and this is my commentary on this piece of art, so that's what's gonna happen. Um, now I'm using my Graphic Master pens, well, markers actually. I have a grayscale set that I got in a uh, scrawler box, and if you want, you can check out some of my scrawler box videos if you'd like. Um, and I haven't really used these since the scrawler box, so I thought maybe I could try and use them with this Inktober drawing. Oh, and there I, I was fixing his chin with a white gel pen because it didn't look right. And when it comes to likenesses, any one little element that's just like one little pixel too far to the right. I know pixels aren't with traditional art, but I'm trying to like explain myself here. If one line is one pixel to the right too much or one pixel to the left too much it's not going to look like that character as relevant with this drawing oh boy and then I was trying to fix his hair with the white gel pen again so this whole drawing I'm just trying to like fix my mistakes yeah and then I wrote Mike and I decided to add a background just a light one just so he'd stand out from it because he's very pale and I wanted the background to be a little bit darker than him anyway <laughs> this is the finished drawing after I erase a bit um Let's see if I can do another Inktober. Ooh, I feel like Stranger Things is really Halloween-y, so I'm glad I'm doing Stranger Things. Anyway, I'll see you sometime. Bye!